ready to rock this event, but man, you brought your whole bag here, huh? Sure you did. Z9 and all lenses right here. 400, 45 again. And Mosman. Mosman. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> This is Vahography. I'm Vahagan, your rock and roll photographer. We're here at the US Open of Surfing, right? 2022. The first time I held this, I'm like, is this a real lens? The 404.5 is so light that I thought it was one of those, like, you know, those cups that they sell <laughs> to drink your coffee in? I did a review on this last week, but today we have an event surfing, skateboarding, BMX. And we got the 100, 400 as well. And uh, hey, we got some guests here. Come over here. Sid since 81. Yes. Yeah, he's a viewer of Vahography and a whole host of other Nikon channels. So you're excited? You got your gear right here? I'm ready to go. Yeah, I got my gear and see what I can shoot. You got a Z9? Z9. And also, right here behind the camera, the Moz man right here. What's up, Moz? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, ready to have a good time out here today. Huntington Beach, California. And we're going to rock and roll, right? <laughs> let's go, let's get started. First thing I'm going to show you, hey, by the way, there's Abel, sits since 81, <laughs> rocking the Z9. First thing I want to show you is just how massive this event is and how many photographers there was with their camera gear, long lenses, Nikon, Canon, Sony. Just wanted to show you so you can get a kick out of just photo gear in general. And this is amazing. It's good to see like-minded photographers capturing this event here it felt good to talk to all these photographers talk shop talk camera gear and the event and look at this guy nikon 83 times optical zoom remember that camera <laughs> so i made a conscious effort whenever i saw a photographer to capture them with their gear here's one of the official photographers with the canon 1dx dslr setting up the lights for the bmx event <laughs> there's mozman taking it all in and here's an interesting side. One of these photographers had a fisheye Nikon on the left, one of his cameras, and a Leica. Is that a film camera? And this kid in the stands was sporting, what is that, a 200 F2 Nikon? Yes, it is. A little kid sporting a 200 F2. That was awesome. And we complain about weight. <laughs> anyway, guys, you're here for the 400, 45 and some surfing shots. We started the day with some surfing images. Hey guys, by the way, I did use the Nikon Z9 and did some 4K 120 for some B-roll for this video, so hopefully you enjoy it. I will be shooting RAW and JPEG, however, I like to get it as close as possible when I'm shooting. For example, the white balance, you know, I saw the day, the time of day, set it at about 5800, which I thought was ideal. Now the next thing to decide is oh, autofocus modes. Here's some footage from my EVF. So you can see all the camera information on the screen. I'm using large area AF with person tracking. The Z9 is doing a great job. And these are pro athletes, by the way. This is the US Open of surfing, the best of the best. Here's the first image sample. Here, let me crop it. The Z9 just does a great job tracking the athlete. Here I'm using automatic AF area with tracking. As you can see, the yellow box did an excellent job and this lens the 445 with the z9 combination just phenomenal there was some downtime between waves and i noticed this boat the sailboat in the distance with the 445 just look at that beauty i was switching from auto af area 
to 3D tracking, you could see the boxes and the Z9, as you see, the eyes tack sharp, the detail. This lens is just super clean. I love the autofocus speeds. Here's this image crop in. Now I did do some post-production edits to these images, not a lot. Bring up some vibrance, add a little bit of color, maybe some black and white work. Here's an example of how sharp the 445 is on the edges. Let me crop in heavily, as you see here on this image. There's the original. This lens does a good job in the edges, huh? Here's some more samples of surfing for the day. I was using, for the most part, large area AF with the function button, switching it to 3D tracking when the action was coming towards me. This is an interesting image. Is the surfer looking right at me? <laughs> He's like, hey, that's the 4.5 but just the, the colors, the sharpness with the Z9. Look, look at this couple, he's, like, hey, he's filming us. <laughs> so far, so good with the 4.5. How are you guys liking it so far? Loving it so far. It hey, look a bigger at, surf. Look at that. Z9 one, Z9 two, Z9 three, so. But this lens is awesome and we're just trying it out. So we might change locations down there. Now, as I said before, there was some downtime between waves. So I decided to take some pictures of some people walking by in the pier. Now this is handheld, one of the magic with the 400 4.5 is the weight and the size. You can totally hand hold this. This is with VR on and it's doing a great job. Pay attention to the yellow box as it tracks the subject. Look at the background blur as she's getting closer to me. It just disintegrates the background and I think it's really good quality with that bokeh. So how do the 400 4.5 VR Z lens perform on the Z9 with autofocus tracking? I think it did an excellent job. As I show you these images, a few more images of surfing, here's one of my ultimate favorites of the day. Let me crop into this shot right here. Look at that sharpness you're getting with this lens. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's excellent. Here is an example of just how good the detail is wide open with this lens. Let's crop into this image. You can see that it does a really good job at 4.5. Now, this was a pretty big event. You want to be mobile and the size and weight of this lens lets you do just that. Leave the tripod and the gimbal at home. <laughs> so the new word in the photography YouTube world, sticky. It's sticky, isn't it? This was shot with firmware 2.1 on the Nikon Z9. How you doing? Good, sir. Having fun? Having fun. Sir, <laughs> I'm not that old. Yo, Moz. Cheers, man. Cheers. Day one of the US Open of surfing in Huntington Beach, California. A lot of people, the Nikon Z9 with the 400 millimeter 4.5. Now it's time to try the 100 to 400, 4.5 to 5.6, the BMX competition. This is some high action, fast paced stuff I was photographing. I loved every minute of it. The Nikon 100 to 400, 45 to 5.6 is a good lens for this kind of action. Would I love to have more of a background blur? Sure, the 200 F2 comes to mind, like that little kid. <laughs> he had that lens. But, you know, it did a great job. The Z9 and the 100 to 400, the keeper rate, the AF tracking was good i had a lot of images in focus and it tracked very very well with the 100 to 400 versatility comes to mind with this kind of action you want versatility with your lens now here is an example of autofocus eye tracking evf footage so you could see just how well this lens and z9 performed now if you like content like this guys if you haven't subscribed yet to vahography Go ahead and do so, subscribe to this channel. It motivates me to, to produce this kind of content more for you guys. So go ahead and subscribe, like this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithms. 
hit that like button and share this video with your photography friends. And who knows, maybe you're on the fence. Maybe you're looking to buy the 400, 45 or the 100 or 400. This video might give you an idea of how well these lenses perform in this type of environment. Now through the EVF, you see the autofocus box through all these obstacles. The camera and lens does a good job tracking the subject, the athlete. This is high fast action coming at me here and that box just sticks with that eye. Now there was a few times that I wasn't ready to shoot and the action just came at me and I, you know, it missed focus, but it didn't do this too many times. You can actually use these shots for effects. If I zoom in here, you can see the crowd. Focus is not on, on the biker, but you can actually use these pictures for something. <laughs> Thank Mr. Mozman for coming out and actually letting me use his lens for the review. Thank you, Abel. Nice to meet you. And this little kid with the 200 F2. This was awesome. <laughs> so I had a great time. I hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed this review using the 400 45 and the 100 400 with the Nikon Z9 in this grand event. Look at that. Let me crop into this image. Look at the sharpness, man. There's no denying the excellence of this lens. Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe to Vahography, and we'll catch you guys on a future video. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Hey, what's good, guys? Vahagen here from Vahography. If you like more rocking videos like this one, go ahead and check the videos on the screen and subscribe to this channel, Vahography. Rock and roll.